Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. Those outside, can you shout a resounding hallelujah? Let every devil know you are alive and doing well and you insist that that which belongs to you must come to you. Shout one more time, hallelujah. I want to share with us a spiritual secret tonight and then we will pray. I want to share with us very briefly the secret of spiritual power. Please, I want you to pay attention. There is no man who wants to make a mark in the sands of time. There is no man living in the 21st century who wants to make any notable mark in the spirit. Who will ignore the place of power. There are so many believers who are zealous. So many believers want to become all that God has destined them to be. They have desire. They are sincere. They may even have faith. But they lack spiritual power. Hallelujah. What you will be learning very briefly and then we'll pray. is supposed to empower you. Listen. A point must come in the life of a man when you will have an encounter with power. This realm that we live in is a realm that is compelled by power. It's not compelled by desire. It's not just compelled by sincerity. It's compelled by power. Psalm 63. The psalmist began to cry and communicate something. Psalm 63. Are we there? O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee, my soul tasted for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and weary land where no water is. And this is why I seek for you. Verse 2. He says to see thy power and thy glory reproduced in my life. The same way I saw it in the sanctuary. It's not enough to see power in the church and on crusade grounds. Lord, I want that spiritual reality to be at work in my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in. I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I touched something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people. Speaking with no results. And then, I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily. Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. 
I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry. Spiritually, numerically, and otherwise. I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they touched someone and he fell down. Power. Why do you need spiritual power? I will tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness. I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time. And I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people. There are doors that will never open until power opens them. When Moses went to Pharaoh, there was very little conversation. When the conversations were done, it was an encounter of power. Are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me, but he transferred power. Never spoke one word. But something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back and that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit. power, That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets. My personal spiritual journey. I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation, you will encounter power. Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. It was an encounter with power. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. And he says, from now henceforth, your name is changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God. You have contended with God and prevailed. A time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation. Lord, I need your power and your glory in my life there are gates many of us come from all kinds of regions hear me your personal salvation does not deliver your territory the gates are still there are you getting what i'm saying there are giants on every mountain the bible says how terrible art thou in your works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. 
Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying and doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then one time while they gathered with the brethren and they were angry at the situation, he said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out, he saw a dark cloud. And he said, this is the cloud that makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, It is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now. It takes power to change an SS genotype to an AA. It takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed. It takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant. It takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power I made up my mind that I have no ministry if I cannot demonstrate its validity three keys very quickly and then we are going to pray the first secret the Lord taught me before we talk on the keys let me just give us a little preamble First John chapter 5 verse 9 help us media first John 5 verse 19 very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there first John 5 verse 19 can we read together as projected one to read can you read it louder one to read Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lie in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman for as long as you arrive here safely from birth until you transit there is a potential for disaster it takes power to reign it says rule thou in the midst of your enemies rule thou pastors hear me if your ministry must move from where it is you can have all the connection in the world it takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self, spirit, soul, and body. You have laid down your will. I see so many people who want power, but they still own their wills. Let me tell you something. If it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life, your will must die. Your personal will, your ambition, you must be willing to lay it aside. If you want power with God. You cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. 
you must die to your agenda are you getting blessed spiritual power is not a gift make no mistakes about it not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards consecration the price of yieldedness the centurion when jesus came he made a statement he said for i am a man under authority and on the strength of my submission to an authority i can tell one go and he will go i can tell one come and jesus looked at him a roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive you want to run your life by your own terms by your own way so many pastors are doing their ministry their church so many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes god's own forget about power dedication consecration i'll never forget one time when I was praying, it was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal cause. I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God, lay down. I stood naked from head to toe and I said, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act, my spirit, my soul and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My entire life is around the circumference of his will. You want to see the power of God upon your life. You must come to a point where you die to your will. Do not think God will give you power to do your thing. No. It will have to be at his terms. That's what was happening to Jacob. He touched his time. And made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me all of me lord you have my everything you gave your everything so i give my everything you gave your everything i give my everything take all of me all of me lord this is the key this is what I did with my life. Lord, take everything. Take my ambition. Take my destiny. Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything. Because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely that every time you surrender all to God he makes you a failure every time you give up to God he, he, will, he will destroy your life but he says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you say at the Lord if it is your business get set to die 
if it is your marriage get set for the pressure to kill you if they are your children get set to kill yourself raising them but when it becomes his own This song that we sing, they all belong to you. Even the air that we breathe, it all belongs to you. Belongs to you. That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selma. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part, but it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil looking for anybody that is anointed and they kneel down with their carnality and flesh. You can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil. You will only get up littered with oil but you will not touch power with God. You want power with God. The first secret is surrender. I'm not talking of born again. I'm talking of him taking everything. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church, but he was still crying for intimacy. Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. He says... That you may know what is the hope of his calling. And what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. According to the working of his mighty power. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine. But all of that is limited to the power that works within us. Light and illumination. When light breaks open over your spirit, please hear me. When illumination breaks open, authority is given to you in the spirit. One time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door, giant gate, and when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me, and I looked at it closely, and I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors, and on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing, and every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it, and then the Lord began to reveal to me, that this is what happens when people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth, the light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet, no matter how you pretend it. Illumination. 
illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion. I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, it says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light. There is something when a pastor knows, increase becomes unlimited there is something when a man of God knows his life becomes a mystery every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him the Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come not when you are tired of sitting arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise. From your life and your ministry. It starts attracting a kind of people. First, it will attract Gentiles. Kings will not come yet. Kings don't come to your life. They come to the brightness. So there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people. But as the light keeps getting brighter, it will begin to compel certain kinds of people. Light. Illumination. I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. It says, call on to me. And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. He says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men, watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back, they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit weightier dimensions of illumination that can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were opened. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries. This ministry, by the grace of God, is revolving around mysteries. Spiritual mysteries. A mystery is a hidden code of operation. It's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation. And it says it has been given unto you to know. There is a mystery that will command 
dominion in your family that all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down illumination number three the third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen. While he was about to be stoned, the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power to a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time, the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. To serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend with. That you pray to a point where you become full of the spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, wherein in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, naturally, certain things will start. You will start speaking. Not by your mental ascent. You are speaking as a response. Because when when you are full of anything whatever spirit or agency fills you up begins to live out its nature through you manifesting its characteristics through you that's how people become superhuman they are full of the holy ghost to a point that they become puppets their voice is the voice of the spirit their hands have become the hands of the holy ghost so when they tell you god bless you they speak on the strength of the agency the only way to communicate being full of the Holy Spirit is being drunk. When a man drinks to stupor, there is a level to which he drinks. And that, that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty. And momentarily he loses consciousness. At that point, he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not. Let me tell you something. The correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy. You don't just stand up and start saying, in Jesus' name, gates open. No, there is a dimension you stretch in the spirit. It's like an escape velocity. When you get there, the spirit of prophecy comes upon you. And you begin to make decrees. And I trust God that we'll get to that dimension tonight. That is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were. That is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the Holy Spirit. But when that power is at work in your life, it begins to activate possibilities. 
brothers and sisters hear me it takes power for the gate of your destiny to be open every one of us here is on our way to destiny but it takes power otherwise the gates will not open tonight hear me you are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way are you hearing what i'm saying i'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray the devil must give up on you you must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life you must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go you must pray there is a way you can pray yourself to victory it's like a flight in the spirit you keep praying when the flesh is tired you say no way when you keep ascending you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality brothers and sisters you will never come back again it's an escape velocity in the spirit and then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny we are kings and priests we will take on the priestly role first we will stretch in the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying james chapter 5 verse 13 is any man afflicted let him pray not let him discuss not let him complain is any man challenged by gates are there doors that have refused to open let him pray is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open pray your way to victory terminal diseases is because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh when you generate power in the spirit when you generate fire in the spirit it burns every chaff does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. Let me repeat it. Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. You can pray your way to victory in the spirit. You can pray your way to favor and breakthrough. You can pray your way and smash those doors. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. It takes prayer when the apostles were caught and james was beheaded it pleased herod the people were happy and they bound peter they were about to kill peter and the church said no way and they began to pray prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs when you pray you authorize heaven when you pray you activate the ministry of angels when you pray you begin the work of creation creation did not stop on the seventh day god only rested those who can access the power and the light tonight i want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life some of us are like a battery we have gone down spiritually you must pray yourself to fullness There are so many men of God who do not pray and they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics. Let me tell you something. Nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer. When a man is not a prayer man, it shows there is, there is a touch of eternity upon you when you are a man of prayer. For Elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city. He did not use a discussion with Ahab. Prayer. He locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket. He said that gate will not be open. Except at my word. Tonight, you can pray yourself to victory. Inside and outside and all around. There are families that have come tonight. People have traveled from far and near. It's time to pray yourself to victory. 
pray yourself to victory until you are full of the Holy Ghost. The key of consecration. The key of illumination. The key of prayer. Being full of the Holy Ghost. You become a bank of spiritual power. Hear me. Let me say this especially. This seems to work only for men of God. It may not be applicable for other people. But let me give pastors a secret. The day power comes to your life, poverty has died forever. I guarantee you. I, the day power comes upon your life, genuine spiritual power, not nonsense that people are doing around. The day power comes, you have gotten something that is worth it. I was teaching the school of ministry students and I told them that if not for anything, when you find the anointing, you have found what is more than gold. We trivialize the anointing. Hear me. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Oh God, you are my God. Early, like we are doing, will I seek you. My soul thirst for you. I want to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the trim audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray do you have it are you ready with it okay so quickly everyone is going to participate we are going to pray it takes prayer it takes prayer everyone say it takes prayer to command victories say it takes prayer that's what a vigil is a vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil, Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen, the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you are a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. When you pray in the secret then you make your life easy in the open but when you do not pray many of us pray but we pray amiss tonight i want to teach you strategies deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results that you are talking does not mean you are praying there are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire I know you will use me to touch and bless your people but whilst that is happening i hold on to your garment there is a new level i saw in a vision a curtain opened and there was another one and i was pushed forward i said that's it i must pray till what i have seen many of you have seen things in your dream prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass you have seen a great life you have seen a prosperous destiny but there are gates make no mistakes about it your business will not just excel there are gates sister the marriage will not just happen there are gates but tonight ministries and destinies will rise to a new level please i'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit 
hear your spirit. Rise up everybody. Inside and outside, please rise up. The first prayer point is a cry for grace. Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Open up the gates. Open up the doors. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. It belongs to you. Pray. Total surrender. Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio. While that is happening, until it finishes, is a guide. The moment it starts, we are stretching in the spirit. No sleeping. Anyone who is sleeping, hold his hands and walk around with them. No sleeping. Praise the Lord. Because this is about your destiny. Outside, make sure you participate. Whatever you do, be ready to stretch it in the spirit. And I want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit. Where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now?
Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody. Begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. up your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my he says and i shall be anointed with fresh oil listen the lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that this is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs i saw this when i was praying in a vision and that's why i'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just dab your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of Jesus Christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit 
many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen tonight is a night of encounter with power hallelujah it's a night of encounter with power father i lay my hands upon this in a name that is above all names may they become conduits of your power may they become instruments of power as this comes upon the heads of many in the name of jesus christ i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs supernatural freshness supernatural grace by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost lift your voice and begin to pray and say lord as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you praying as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you still praying lord i'm tired of stagnation i'm tired of hardship Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. There's gotta be more than me. Now listen, please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead just tap it lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues go ahead everybody you can put it on your hands if you want to but go ahead quickly quickly just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing. Make decrees. Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they, do they have the oil? 
Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead. Please pray. here kneeling with a child hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family that came here a family that came here I think this this has to do with sickness this is a family is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me, the atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy, please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. 
I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression and attack. It's not just on your baby. This thing, you are the one who really needs to be free, not even the baby. You get the point. But you have calm down now, madam. Let me talk to you. I'm seeing you in the spirit. There's no mic. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking at this madam in the spirit and I'm seeing you fatter than this. I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. It's what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? You believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing to what? Yes. No, not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee. Like a, you know when it's almost time in a football match. This is what I'm seeing. Your time there is almost up. And God is going to lift you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm declaring that let this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is need to pray for your child. Um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever, temperature. We have to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything that is not of God upon this child, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Madam, the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor. Please, I want you to believe me. I don't just talk if God has not told me anything. Do you believe? Father, bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Why am I seeing Memuna on your head? Are you Memuna? That's your name. Come. You too, you are Memuna. I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna. Is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying I should tell you. He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? Two things. Number one. Your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick. But then I cause sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Eh? Be prayerful. There are some things I cannot show here, but you see, let me speak in parables. You cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me. Are you getting what I'm saying? You cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me. It's very important. Be prayerful and he's either Lord of all. He cannot share his glory with any other thing. You get what I'm saying, madam? The Lord is going to lift you and take you. Please, I want to pray for your children. Because the devil wants to oppress them. This is your child. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. It's a spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. There are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody huh? they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam he got it wrong because his understanding is limited. It's not like the boy wants to kill her, but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her. Both of them. This is the spirit of death. She would have died on the 22nd of this month. 22nd. She would have buried her. It would have been over. She would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd. God, you are higher than any other. I can't say He's 
awesome in power. God. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God. Lift your voice and say, Our God is greater. Hey. Our God is stronger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting. Who speaks that sound? Mama, Bertha, leave her. Hey, Bertha, Bertha, find her. She looks like a fuller human. She, she understands how sir. Can I change house? Can I change house? So, I'm attacking the game. Oh, Yinji. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we're done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we're going to let you know you 
desperate for you. Say, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Say, I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. Desperate for you. Desperate for you. I'm lost without you, shame. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you, say. I'm lost without you. Church, say, I'm lost without you now, say. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Let the rain of your presence fall say, I'm lost without you. Cover us with your grace, Jesus. <laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let the rain of your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your hands, oh God. I'm lost without you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Say, break, break every chain. Say, break every chain. 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 Break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Break every chain. Oh God. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every one of the chains. And one of the chains are broken.
lift your voice, just everybody. The clap say, oh, oh, oh. I need you to be mild, be gentle, say, Just 
Just leave him there. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we are done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and needs and needs to come, I will sing before His throne forever. You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66, verse 3, please, our last prayer session, we're going to be praying. And we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people into their promised land. 
when the pressure got so much pharaoh negotiated he said all right let we have a deal the men can go leave the women and the children leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race the women and the children let the men go because he knew they would perish and moses said no way we're going with our wives our children our cattle and everything so we're going to pray the Bible says, now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things, all things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploit, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those bots, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well, you are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare release of every other area of my life that is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shabarata kataba. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Are you praying in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was you praying? When Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says the Egyptians you see today oh you may have seen them for 430 years but today the Egyptians you see today he says that you would not see them and then he said Moses verse 15 now Moses was crying before God and he said why will you cry tell the people to move forward make advancement listen this prayer we are going to pray is important because many of us, this prayer will supply courage. Hear me. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in business. It's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you are falling again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. 
but right now he said tell the people to move forward the signs do not go before you they follow you when you take the step of faith god is ministering to someone it's time to get back the anointing is still there where you fell is where you will rise and excel the anointing is still there lift your voice and prophesy i'm moving forward go ahead and pray pray in my ministry i'm moving forward i refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me inside and outside i'm moving forward in every area of my life you wanted to start a building project a challenge came and you have refused to move forward you tried to get admission you tried once twice it didn't work listen it says tell the people to move forward koinonia i announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward now prophesy lord i'm moving forward i break those barriers i refuse to see challenges that project is doable the project is doable the marriage is doable come on pray now the ministry can rise it's achievable it's achievable is achievable i may have been thrown down once but it is achievable there is still an anointing hallelujah hallelujah my bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down samson was a mighty man of power but for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over israel and for some reasons he fell into the trap of a woman called delilah and that trap costed him his eyes they plucked out his eyes and they shaved him he would have thought that would be the end of samson once a giant the one who threatened the philistines the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it the one who removed a city gate God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor. But something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God, he prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time, let this anointing come upon me and the bible says he pushed he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime can i tell you something you should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person we live in a generation where every time you fail there are so many people coming to prove to you justifying their prophecies are you getting me now you start a business or a company it fails and everybody tells you you see you start a ministry genuinely called by god no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up are you hearing what i'm saying i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes I won't give up Lord I won't give up I'll keep holding on until my change comes I will never forget our first crusade 
our first crusade in Joss, you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people, they were not much. We saw miracles, we saw mighty things, but the people were few. We were stranded. Listen, a crusade would happen. The crusade was to start by 5 30. As, as at 3 o'clock, the car was still spoiled. We're still on our way going. I'll never forget. The driver tried and tried and tried. We didn't even have enough money. We just had enough money to take us there. How we were going to survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen, when you see a successful man, don't just celebrate the stories. Ask the person for the pains and the scars. Successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open. They are not those who do not have challenges. Are you getting the point now? I will never forget that crusade was powerful. Immediately after the crusade, the sound guys were standing. 150,000 were to pay them. It looks like child's play now. But then it meant a lot. Because even if everybody in the ministry then came together, we would not be able to solve it. But we knew that God sent us. I knew what God had told me. A great crusade. The first crusade we did not even have we could not rent video cameras. I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people. It was, it was such a bitter humiliation. Those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it. I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation, she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed. It was a disaster. I would have easily given up and said, that's it, Lord. No ministry again. Imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry. If I had given up at that point, God is speaking to someone. Peter tried to catch fish all night. Nothing happened. He would have packed up. Successful people are those who are audacious. Don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul and Enche. 99 right when they went to abuja him his wife and two pastors were staying in one small room not by will that was all they could afford you would have called them failures do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house you carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room but that's what it's been called today listen I want you to know right now we are going to pray you are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything they may be the voices of good people they may be the voices of sincere people but i come to prove them wrong lift your voice and pray in the name of jesus everyone shout it in the name of jesus i'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh God lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. No weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission, but it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. 
you may not have connection now nobody may recognize your anointing but keep pressing keep pressing hallelujah hallelujah was he praying you are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance listen let me tell you you can ask every one of the ministers here Barack who ministered and Peter Adole Manasseh Pastor Alpha ask all of them they will tell you stories and episodes of endurance listen there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving nothing was happening are you getting what I'm saying any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you I'm telling you there are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed are you getting what I'm saying nothing like a result is happening you are planting bearing precious seeds or nothing is happening as a man of God you know the anointing upon your life while you are laboring in the spirit nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it you can be a great worshiper and for many years you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before God and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served you've even complimented on your degrees submitted CVs let me tell you something in every man's life there are seasons of persistence and endurance I want you to know this don't let any man fool you God is a God of speed not rush God does not rush he brings speed not rush there are seasons where you are proven the Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance there is something called a man's season of appearance you can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance years ago he may remember we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna a very powerful meeting and when we went there there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop there was nothing bishop about him when you launch yourself without your season of appearance the man was there and after the meeting I, I could not even figure one person who came to say Kai man of God you blessed me the bishop was there moving around no friend no car no nothing we went to the restaurant he just sat down somewhere and was just taking his powerhouse nobody was even encouraging him and I said in my mind Lord if this is how it means to be a bishop I don't want this honor when God blesses you he brings honor with it when you launch yourself you will keep floating looking for relevance I'm speaking to many of us here we are at the verge of breakthroughs keep holding on there are times you don't need to do anything new you just need to keep doing what you are doing because what you are doing is not wrong if a baby we have a few babies around here if a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk if an old man starves himself to die he will not suddenly become young because there was no food are you getting what i'm saying and jesus grew he didn't become he didn't jump and jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with god and with men life is in dimensions are you hearing what i'm saying and there are times in your life you will need to wait listen you may be a man of god 
anointed it is true that god has spoken to you about ministry but for now all you'll be doing is cleaning tables be faithful you must receive grace for endurance because let me tell you hope defers makes the heart weary the heart of man is 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 very fragile the moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results naturally speaking naturally speaking fatigue will come in you're going to lift your voice are you still tired we're rounding up this is a very important prayer point lift your voice and say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace for endurance i receive grace for persistence i receive grace for resilience i will wait i will be patient until my season of appearance lift your voice and pray patience oh god if you turn aside in the day of battle it says your strength is small lift your voice and pray Persistence, persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day. Suddenly an angel appears to her. Listen. Appears to her with a prophetic message. Thou art highly favored. Blessed are you among women. And she wondered what salutation this was. And the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby. And she said, how shall these things be? I know not a man. Just like God is telling you. The same you who is standing. One day you will own your television station. And the world will be watching you. And you look around and say, how shall these things be? And he said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Watch this. The moment God told Mary because her life at that time was an unusual life. And then the angel recommended her to Elizabeth. Somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision. You will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you. There must be people around your life that can identify. No matter how mystical the instructions are. There must be somebody around your life that can say, although this looks strange, I see that the hand of God is upon it. Loneliness in destiny has killed many people. They are carrying visions. They, they have no other shoulder to lean on. And Mary went to Elizabeth. Every other woman would have said, you are very stupid. Tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant. But she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time. So, she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the bible says as soon as elizabeth mary and elizabeth saw the babies the destinies in their wombs leapt you need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million naira project is doable how much do you have 10 naira say yes I was once like that you need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of God 
dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what i'm saying that you come and say my sister i want to share with you something don't be afraid though say what is it say do you know i don't have a womb and the lady will not say ah what is all that say abba your case is a simple case there was a woman like that it's not just that she didn't have a womb in fact her own was a, a bad case but she had twins you see that that's elizabeth you need to call for elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of god but there are no motivators there are no people to tell you it is doable who said you can't start a bank everybody say bank what nonsense are you talking about somebody tells you you can do it you can do it you can start the bank you pray them into your life are you getting me there are ladies right now this is august but you heard from god genuinely and you are trusting god to be settled by december you, if you meet a wrong person the person will look at you and say i have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people say i'm i'm waiting now people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully he says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god
is God speaking to us we need to have results in our lives we are still praying but you see God is not a herbalist now there are systems there is a way that he works and one of the way that he works is to direct men and thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls are you are you hearing what i'm saying now it matters god is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are you are hurrying up too much you think it's break too you are running you will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle for someone after this service you need to go and calm down with your life and say i've been running since 2005 what have i done with my life absolutely nothing oh come lord jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of god your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become beulah and hepzibah the delight of the nations the excellency of waiting the hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait it's easy to rush it's easy to do a lot of things you will make more mistakes in your life rushing there is power in waiting are we together there is power in waiting we're going to pray for the sick now there's a lot to do tonight but listen very carefully if this message is for you then i want you to receive it from the depth of your heart you know when we come like this there are various things that the lord is doing to several people not everyone is sick not everyone is oppressed but a word can come and god says be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they have not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by god and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer requests go ahead you can spare a few minutes 
to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? trying to embarrass this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders, brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again, brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her social life. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. You will you sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God.
say after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the Lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone make sure you are praying Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So after me in the name of Jesus. Please let me see us say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension.
was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen that's the next prayer point we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be returned one more time Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare. In the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level a new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny a believer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray call for help
Amen. Listen, let me tell you this. We are still praying. Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no. Where comments my help? He said, my help, the, the hill is only a strategy. The hill is not my source. And then he says, my help cometh. That means just like faith, help to cometh. Faith cometh. Help cometh. Your help can come from other places. By divination and witchcraft, a man can attract a system of attention. But he will pay for it. Listen. Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i'd like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. This prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service. And I want you to pray because people are receiving results. We are still going to pray over the issue of help. Let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. You see, this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God. My life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you are value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatos, shaka taka 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 taka, raka taka taka shake tepe ke teke teke le bakata ta, shama sonda barakatos ya taka ta. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream, and then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I perform growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household sometimes it's not binding and casting lord show them mercy too so that as i'm rejoicing they will rejoice and leave me in peace are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i provoke divine help over my loved ones i prophesy to them that in this season receive the help of the lord lift your voice and pray for your loved ones Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Sasa sata choba shana makata, shana makata sana makata kala koto siyata. Help, oh God. Shapa katos, shapos kete bara kato shana makata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family. Hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare. Let life come to you now. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy life. Your father lost his job since 1991. Till today he has not gotten a job. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Oh ministry, hear the word of the Lord. 
the word of the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there but there was no life he says son of man prophesy again to the four winds and say all wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came and breathed upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army listen god is able god is able to turn a man's captivity overnight he said have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as zion travails we know that death is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as zion travails as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son as soon as zion travails pray hallelujah hallelujah the apostle said i desired once again to come to you but satan hindered us your breakthrough desire to come to you but satan hindered it your helpers desire to come to you have you seen a situation Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we're not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they went, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God 
to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of god god began to speak to him at the end of it it was him that escorted me out say ah, ah you are you are you know my friend he collected my i said look at this man would have missed this miracle brothers and sisters some of our loved ones you know what i'm saying are like that their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years they organize a program near your house and they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together I want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adullam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah, after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received it freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it's challenging and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord satire. there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw it's because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor you pray i just want to say thank you so many Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing Amen. 
go back with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed i decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of jesus christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concerts just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to